Hey you guys, good morning. Welcome back to another video. Thanks for joining me. I'm gonna show you what I am eating today. It's going to be pretty simple, vegan, and of course low calorie density because duh, right? Um, but it's the morning right now and I've got my little baby sleeping. Can you see just a little bit of her? So it's a perfect time to just show you guys what I'm having for breakfast. Um, I had my family over for dinner last night and I'm gonna show you how to transform the leftovers from that meal. And then we're just gonna put together some really simple meals that are gonna be effective for weight loss, gonna be good if you're just looking for some inspiration. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already had my big jar of lemon water and I'm ready for some breakfast. To make this smoothie, I peeled one orange. I used one really ripe spotty banana and I used about a cup and a half to two cups of frozen mango and two cups of spinach. I then added in about a half of a large cucumber, a tablespoon of chia seeds and a teaspoon of daily green boost powder, a quarter teaspoon of vanilla, about a cup and a quarter of water. I'm heading to the garage because it's a nap. <laughs> so here we go, let's blend this up. I like the way that this smoothie tastes. You could always sub pineapple for the mango if you don't like mango, but I really like this because it's easy. You just throw everything right into the blender. It's not necessary to make an orange juice or anything like that. It's great when you're on the go. Okay, so here's my smoothie. This obviously made a lot, but I will drink all of that and it's gonna keep me full for some time. I feel like it's a wonderful way to get in greens. Um, some people have asked me like, okay, what do you do with these dark leafy greens? How do you get them in? And a smoothie or a juice or a big salad is what I would recommend. You can always steam them, but a smoothie is great because even if you don't like the taste of dark leafy greens, say, obviously spinach is pretty mild, but if you wanted to put kale or like some Swiss chard or some collard greens in there, you're probably not going to just want to eat that alone if greens are a new thing to you. So put them into a smoothie, you can get a large volume and because the sweetness of the banana and the mango, this completely masks the taste of the greenness and it's a great way to get it in. I love smoothies, I think they're really wonderful. And I wanted to show you this. So you see how I've filled this up basically to the brim. If you um, you know, need to take your, your breakfast on the go, just put a lid on your glass jar. And because it's filled all the way up to the top, it's not gonna oxidize and start to turn really gross. Say if you decided to take this for a lunch or you work somewhere and you can't eat for you know a couple hours from now, you're gonna commute there. This is a great way to not oxidize your smoothie and um, you can still have it be really fresh. But I'm gonna have this now. And then in this recipe, I included chia seeds. Chia seeds are wonderful for so many reasons, but they really help the uptake of the nutrients in the greens. So I, whenever I'm having a smoothie, I always put chia seeds in to get more of the nutrient uptake with the greens. So let's see what this tastes like. Mm, that's really good. But the fact that I was able to get lots of greens and cucumbers and greens powders and chia seeds, I'm starting my morning off right. So with all the recipes that I'm gonna share with you today, I'll leave them down in the description if you wanna try this one out. Girl, All right, now I wanna share with you this healthy chili recipe that I made that the next two recipes in my day are contingent upon. I will go ahead and leave all of the recipes that I talk about in the video today down in the description below, but I am adding vegetable broth for sauteing, garlic, onion, a little bit of bell pepper, carrots, and celery, and I am adding in these chipotle peppers in adobo sauce, which makes a huge difference when it comes to making chili taste really smoky and still keeping it vegan. I'm adding a whole can of diced tomatoes, a whole can of tomato paste, and a whole can of beans. I'm also adding about a cup of green lentils, but you could use red lentils as well. Adding some water, some cumin, and either some cayenne pepper or smoked paprika. And then I'm just letting this simmer for about 40 minutes. In the meantime, I'm making a cashew sour cream, which is some cashews, a little bit of lemon, and a little bit of water and salt. Very simple. And it comes out really creamy. A lovely addition to the chili. And just know this recipe is the base of the leftovers that I'm gonna be having for both lunch and dinner coming up. Too much. 
All right, so I'm just finishing up some computer work and I'm starting to get really hungry and ready for lunch. And I'm just gonna utilize the leftovers. I had my mom and dad over for chili last night and I know that leftovers are such an easy thing to do. So if you don't incorporate leftovers, you're missing out because A, they're super budget friendly. You can make something stretch like an entire week and just turn it into different meals. And B, it's just a really easy way to not waste your food. It's a no-brainer option to have good quality grains or beans, something like that. And then you can just toss in whatever veggies you have on hand. I think I'm gonna do a wrap. So I'm gonna do like a chili wrap and I'm gonna add some, probably some steamed veggies as well as some raw veggies. So it's gonna be a really high volume meal that's gonna keep me full through the rest of the day until I'm ready to have dinner. But it's gonna be low in calorie density because has done lots of veggies plus my brown rice that I have left over and my chili which is the lentils and the beans inside. Let's go downstairs and I'll just show you how I'm preparing that and putting it together. It's gonna take me less than 10 minutes. I've got all my food here on the table so that we're gonna set it up so it looks really pretty for you guys but just know a couple of things. I'm going to be eating all of this um, this greens these as well and all of this broccoli however this is a cashew cream sauce like a sour cream that i made last night to go with the chili i'm not going to be eating all of this because that would be far too many calories i'm going to take a very small amount of this probably a teaspoon or so and i'm going to mix it with some lime juice and i'm going to make a little bit of a marinade for myself to keep this on the lower fat side again this is so it looks pretty but i'm not going to have three tortillas i'm going to have one whole wheat tortilla and i'm probably going to have all of those grains so i'm keeping this as much whole foods as I possibly can to make this a low calorie density meal that's gonna work for me. Some people might be able to eat all of this and be fine, but for me, for weight loss, I need to stick to the whole ingredients. Lots and lots of greens, a little bit of fat, and a good amount of the leftover chili. The final product. I just want you guys to know I'm not eating all of those jalapenos. That was totally for aesthetic design. Um, but here's another thing about leftovers. It is really taking the decision fatigue out of your day. If you're really trying to eat healthy and you're trying to lose weight and you're like, oh man, all I want is this and this and this. If you only have clean foods in your house and this is what you made last night and you made a promise to yourself, this is what I'm gonna eat today and you have nothing else to fall back on, this is what you're gonna eat today. And it's gonna make things for losing weight really much more simple. So that's another reason why I absolutely love leftovers. Leftovers. You don't even have to think about what you're doing. You just throw it together, you eat it, and you know you're having something nutritious. I'm gonna take all these jalapenos off and I'm gonna have a little bite here. Perfect. Really, really good, super satisfying. I'm gonna have all those greens and steamed broccoli and I'm gonna be really full for quite a long time. Bon appetit. Are you ready for your haircut? Yeah. Really? <laughs> you want me to cut your hair? No. <laughs> I didn't think so. I'll give you a little surprise if you if we can do a haircut. A monster truck. A monster truck surprise? Yeah. What about ice cream instead? No, not ice cream. <laughs> I uh, I want ice cream. You want ice cream? Yeah. Why are you gonna touch the camera? Hey, can you tell me, do you enjoy having your hair cut? Yeah. What? You enjoy having your hair cut live. Thank All live. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the plan. You are gonna take a nap, and then you're gonna have a haircut, and then you're gonna get mango ice cream. Sound like a deal? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it, mommy. I'm taking two cups of partially frozen mango and the juice of about two limes. And I am just blending it in the Vitamix, and it's turning right into a sorbet. And it looks so beautiful, it's so delicious. It's a great treat for myself and also for Eli. He absolutely adores this. All right, so I'm done with lunch, and for my after lunch snack, I'm having this beautiful mango sorbet. Shall we do a taste test, you guys? Would you like to try some? Look what it looks like, it's just gorgeous. You can have some. 
Mm, so simple yet so delicious. Here, try it out. You like it? Mm. It's really good. If you don't have a Vitamix, no worries. I totally think you could do this in any kind of regular blender because the key to making this happen and making it look like this and taste like this is partially frozen, partially frozen mango. <laughs> That is the key, right? So if, when you're making ice cream or when you're making mango ice cream or anything like that, then you want to just think about letting your stuff defrost, your bananas or your mango, whatever you're using, for just a little bit of time. So I let my mango sit out for about 10 minutes and then it was super easy. I just on a level one or just a regular blender, you could totally do that. Um, and then just a squeeze of lime juice. If you feel like it needs sweetening, you can add a little bit of maple syrup. But I don't think it does, do you? No, I don't think so. I think it's really tasty. And this is going to be the after haircut snack or treat for Eli. Not that I'm bribing him, but I am going to give him a treat because he hates getting his haircut. And I know that he's gonna love this. For dinner, I'm just making a really delightful bowl. I am chopping up one large sweet potato and I'm gonna go ahead and steam this just until it's fork tender. Now I'm just gonna use some canned beans and some red bell pepper for my bowl, but I'm gonna make this really tasty by creating this sauce that comes from a shallot, mango, a little bit of cashew or hemp seed, whatever you have, some freshly squeezed lime juice, and some Dijon mustard. Salt and pepper to taste and then blend it. This is a really great option when it comes to a really satisfying bowl. And then I'm just gonna assemble my bowl. I'm using leftover rice, I'm using greens, I'm using, hello, red bell pepper again, sweet potato that I steamed up, and just some black beans from a can. I'm garnishing it with lime juice and I'm using that sauce. That sauce has such a little amount of cashews or hemp seeds, whatever you decide to use, that you can truly have the entire thing. It's really flavorful and of course, I'm gonna garnish it with some sunflower microgreens because they're my absolute favorite. I hope you guys recognize that there's a little bit of a theme going on in this video, and that is reusing my leftovers. People have been messaging me a lot lately, which is awesome, I'm really happy to talk to you guys, but saying that this type of lifestyle or eating this way is way too expensive, and how could they ever afford it? If you notice in this video, I reuse my chili and brown rice for one meal, I reuse my brown rice for dinner, I used the same couple of bell peppers for pretty much every single meal, even last night when I made the chili. I I made the cashew sour cream for my guests that came over last night with the chili, but I also used a little bit in my wrap for lunch. And I'm also gonna have that throughout the entire week. So one batch of pretty much everything, I'm gonna stretch and use different ways. But I always take a look in my pantry before I head to the grocery store. What do I already have that I can make stretch? So not only am I stretching and making myself stick to a budget, but I'm stretching the meals that I make to make sure that I don't waste the food and that I eat the food that is healthy and nutritious for me. It's there, it's ready to go. So take that into account. Pretty easy to throw into your routine and so I hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you try any of the recipes. Thank you to all of you who have tried recipes and come back and written me and said that you really enjoyed them. I really do appreciate it. It makes me really happy to know that it's like almost like I'm sharing my cooking with you. Like you're coming over for a meal and you like something and I give you the recipe but it's all virtual. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and that you subscribe for more videos like these to come. I'm going to be filming a Q and A. I think I'm going to do it live very, very soon. I've got so many questions from you guys that I want to address. So if you have any more questions that you want to do for that Q and A, um, leave them down in the comments below. I will also be letting you know on my stories here and on Instagram and on the community board when that live Q and A will be happening. So you can tune in and we can talk in real time. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. It means the world to me that you would even take the time out of your busy day to do so. I really appreciate you guys and I will see you really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.